So you guys want to unlock Freyna in the first descendant. I'm going to show you guys where to farm all of her parts. Now Freyna's code you can actually acquire in sterile land. But her three other parts are going to require you to have Vespers unlocked. Which is going to be your third region that you get to during the campaign. This is also going to require you to have an electricity based descendant. Bunny will work perfectly fine. Now we're going to begin in the sterile land in Rockfall. You're going to have to come and farm the zone recon mission, Volgus Strategic Outpost. And here you are looking to get the amorphous material pattern, Freyna, which has a 20% drop chance. Now it is worth mentioning this mission does have a five minute cooldown. Now, once you have the amorphous material pattern for Freyna, you're gonna go ahead and head down south to the void mission fragment. Now I'm sure you guys have noticed these throughout the map as you've been progressing. In order to complete these, you have to have a descendant that matches the element of whatever orb is in here. For this one, it's electricity. There's also fire, ice, and so on and so forth. The only way for you to damage these pylons is by using that elemental skill. So to start this, you're just gonna hit it with the skill. And once you hit, get one third of the health bar out of that pylon, it's gonna start a wave of ads that you're gonna have to kill. And we're just going to repeat this process until the pylon is destroyed and we will get the void fragments. Oh my gosh, she hit me off. All right, guys, and now that we complete it, we are going to get some void fragments, as you can see on the side. And we're going to use those in order to get our first piece for Freyna. So now that you have your void fragments, you're going to head northeast to this marker here. Now this is where you spend your void shards. You're going to see these things in every single region you get to. And when you spend them, it's going to summon two elites. Now once you defeat those two elites, you will have a chance of getting Freyna's code. So now that you have Freyna's code, you're going to have to progress through the campaign until you unlock Vespers. Now, our first mission to farm is going to be in the Lumberyard, and this is going to drop us Freyna's Stabilizer. Now, this has a 20% drop chance, so you're going to have to farm this mission quite a few times unless you are extremely lucky. Now, useful tip, when you complete the mission and you're looking at your mission results, you can actually hold R to restart the mission over. It's worth noting if you're in a group, only the host has the option to restart the mission. Now to get the Freyna Spiral Catalyst, we're gonna be heading to the Ruins on Vesper. The mission is called Ruins Underground Entrance. Now this does say it has a 20% drop chance, but it took me about 11 runs to finally get this to drop. Now the last piece you're gonna need for Freyna is in Timberfall, and it's the Shelter Operation. And this is for the Enhanced Cells. Now it does say that it's a 20% drop chance. Now this is a pretty long operation. It has two bosses in it. Now an effective way to farm this is to complete the operation, then in the results screen, hold R to reset it. Now your inventory is gonna be full after two runs because so much loot drops. So you can either do two runs, go back to Albion, then come back, etc., etc., Or you can just uh, dismantle everything and just keep resetting it. That's really up to you guys. And it took me about an hour to get the drop. Now, once you have all your pieces, you're going to come back to Albion. And you can fast travel between uh, the main area and the, let's call it the crafting area. And for those of you who don't know, this is going to be your best friend over here. And this is where you're going to get all your ultimate weapons and craft all your descendants. Now what do you want? So you're going to hit research requests, go down to descendant. You can see mine is almost done crafting. It does take 16 hours to craft at least this descendant. I don't know. I'm sure the ultimates are going to take longer, but who knows? And I hope you guys have 400,000 schmeckles laying around because holy smokes, these people are expensive, dude. And just to give you guys a little overview of her abilities, her passive is Contagion Links. Increases toxic skill power by the number of nearby enemies inflicted with poison. Her number one is Venom Trauma. Fires a toxic bullet, dealing damage to hit enemies. The toxic bullet explodes, creating a toxic puddle and inflicting room zero trauma on those it hits. 
room zero trauma inflicts continuous damage and inflicts poison to nearby enemies. Her number two is defense mechanism. Gains plague body armor inflicts room zero trauma on the attacking enemy. Room zero trauma inflicts continuous damage and applies poison to nearby enemies. Her number three is putrid venom. Throw poison to create a toxic swamp. Enemies that touch the toxic swamp take continuous damage and are inflicted with poison and venom soaked. Enemies with venom soaked leave toxic footprints as they move. Enemies who touch the toxic footprints are inflicted with poison. And her number four is venom baptism. Equip a unique weapon. Unequipped after all bullets are consumed or after a certain period of time has passed. Enemies hit by the unique weapon bullets are inflicted with Room Zero Trauma. Room Zero Trauma deals continuous damage and inflicts poison on nearby enemies. Alrighty guys, well that's how you unlock Freyna. I plan on doing a video on unlocking every single Descendant in the first Descendant. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And like always, I hope you have an amazing stinking day.